Greetings, everybody. Irish Trekkie, back with another Nerd Escape podcast. And with me, as always, we have the amazing Chris, the Trek Collector. How are you today, my good friend? All good, all good, all good. Coming to the end of another year. Wow, it's been a long road. <laughs> oh, no. Don't, don't get into singing. <laughs> not yet, not yet, song. not yet. <laughs> we'll end up in Christmas carols by the end of the video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you know, you're right. It has been a long road. Looking make it back. so, make it so, make it so. <laughs> Jeez. Let us know your Trek Christmas puns down below. Um, yeah, we, we wanted to get in front of the camera just for a short little video, just to bring in the festive cheer and to really give a massive thanks to all you folks for joining us on our Trek journey in 2019. It has been a Trek roller coaster. Um, SDCC, uh, Las Vegas, New York. We got to go to our very first... Uh, joint convention this year over in destination star trek as well and uh what were some of your highlights chris of 2019 Oof, i think to put you on the spot season three discovery trail on picard mm. I, I, I think honestly like you between the two of them i think it's been fantastic like uh discovery's has gotten so much better season two and then seeing the the trailer for season three drop it's like Whoa, yeah, yeah. the card coming back amazing. And um, the panel that we did, uh, when we went to at uh, DST, when we uh, the lower decks seems really, really, really good. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's been a great year for Trek, that's it's also been a sad year as well, of course, with the passing of Renee and Aaron. Yeah, and uh, D Space Nine has really taken a, a hit this year. Um, yeah, unfortunately, our, our thoughts go out yeah. to all the friends and family. Yeah, um, as they have when that sad news came. Yeah, and a big shout out actually. While while we're on with Renee, I was lucky enough. I think it was very, maybe nearly two years ago by now. Um, Star Trek Aaron uh, Ronan um, was yeah. decent enough to bring Renee over, and like I don't know if anyone is tuning in from Ireland or maybe anyone from the UK. If you ever see that Star Trek era, do actually announce if you see them on Twitter, um, and they they are hosting. It, it, it's a very intimate kind of a venue setup um, normally about 100 people so um yeah it's always great terry farrell was that one as well going back which was absolutely fantastic as well so very intimate so yeah, it's, it's not kind of like i think the actors are more at ease because they know it's a smaller yeah kind of a room and renee was absolutely amazing i think yeah. everyone kind of really they didn't love him already they were more enough and yeah. uh, just absolute gentlemen and sorry about his pass and that was kind of a big big shock yeah i will leave the links to um star trek air uh down below uh for those watching on youtube um but if you yeah star trek air they're on twitter instagram facebook's their home um but yeah listen uh, with highs sometimes comes lows and um what we want to do is we want to hear from you guys because um what we're hoping to do is do a little bit of a 2019 recap but rather than us because you, you've been listening to our opinions all year we want you to comment below your top five uh, Trek moments of uh, 2019. It could be the 40th anniversary of the motion picture. It could be the 10th anniversary of Star Trek 2009. Imagine 10 years ago, the Kelvin mm. uh, universe came to us. But uh, yeah, for me, because I'm not going to talk about my own stuff in the next video. Um, it's kind of like yours, Chris, where the big thing that I took from this year is like the genesis of the rebirth of star trek you know season three picard lower decks the short treks you know section 31 will there be a pike show all of this lovely stuff there's so much potential now going into 2020 and um you know uh, the, on the only one thing topped it and it was going to dst with you guys uh meeting yourself uh, I've met you before, but never got yeah. to a convention like DST <laughs> um, before. And like Dave and Ben and Dave. Chris and all the guys from Eagle Moss and stuff. It's been a roller And Ben, coaster. that was your first time actually meeting Ben face to face as well. Like, time, you take yeah. it, you, you kind of take it for granted. When you go to these things about, I think it's third, fourth year on a trot now. Like you just, you meet Ben at DST. It's yeah. kind of like, ah, oh, bye Ben. <laughs> hey buddy, how's it going man? So, a bit of homework for you guys and girls at home. Uh, head on to the comment section below. Top five, well, listen, your top Trek moments. If you only want to put one or two, that's cool. And what we'll do is we'll feature them in the next video before 2019 wraps up. And uh, we'll have on some D7. fun chatting about them. I'm going to show that out there. Klingon D7 from Discovery Season 2. Ooh, tasty. That was um, a nice intro. 
it's nice to say that. And Disco Prize. Well, Disco Prize would have been last year. <laughs> See, this is the hard thing. I know I said five to people in the comment yeah, section, this, but there's so many. Yeah. <laughs> Disco Prize was last year, so no, D7 this year. Yeah. It was kind of nice to see her. D7 this like, year. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, nice introduction. And, do you know what? It looks like we're getting some beautiful looking ships for um, uh, Star Trek Picard. You know? and um, Different. There's some great people working. Um, like Ryan Denning. And, and so yeah. many more. We're still working on Star Trek. And some new blood bet coming in. Tenor, I bet you Ryan is behind the, the, the Federation fighters. You're kind of getting the vibe of Section 31 early. <laughs> Just, did you see the teaser folks can just yeah. 30 seconds Ma- long <laughs> amazing how an artist can just kind of like you know he just you just it's just so him <laughs> it is it same is. Way with john eves actually in fairness like and like i could be wrong but i i i'd say it's soundly yeah fine endings I'm and if, if that's the case then we're in good hands yeah. um so that's gonna be it for our short little video uh we wish well i'm gonna pass chris uh the mic in a second to give his a. Uh, end of year greetings but i wish you and yours an amazing christmas if you celebrate christmas having a fantastic new year and uh, as i said at the start of the video truly thanks for stopping by in 2019 listen to us ramble um because it's it's just such a cool little community that we have and um it's just fun to be a part of something bigger than yourself and uh long may it last and again we're here because you're watching so that's my two cents. Chris, I'll pass it over to you before we wrap up. Happy Christmas. Thanks for all the support. Always great to see you guys at the likes of DST and hang around with so many good friends that we've met through doing this. Um, have a great Christmas. Hope you get loads of Star Trek presents and just have a safe and happy holidays. It's goodbye from me. Slang of all, Ihoa. From me too. Is this where we do like uh, make it so make, make it, it so make it so make it so? <laughs> yeah. make it snow, I should have had my snow. Earl Grey, but I had my Actually, uh, my coffee. <laughs> and if you haven't checked that one out, I think it's, it's, it's on YouTube somewhere, isn't it? Make it's it on YouTube. Snow, make it snow. Make yeah, it so, it's, Captain it's great, Picard yeah. Christmas. You'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> have a good one, folks. Bye bye. Okay, guys. <laughs>